Hello and welcome to the step-by-step -step guide on setting up a Shopify theme using Webflow and Liquify Pro. In this session, we'll cover everything you need to know about setting up a Liquify Pro theme in Webflow using the Liquify Pro template, configuring a GitHub repository, converting your Webflow project to a fully functional Shopify theme, and further customizing your theme directly in Shopify. If none of that makes sense to you, don't worry, we're gonna go through it all very slowly and very clearly. Before we dive in, I'd like to mention our Discord community, which is a brilliant resource for support. If you encounter any challenges during this process or have questions afterwards, our community members and support team are there to help. I strongly encourage you to join us. The link is down below in the description. Right. Should we get started? Liquify Pro serves a specific purpose. It transforms your beautiful Webflow designs into fully functional Shopify themes. Liquify Pro bridges the gap between Webflow's intuitive design capabilities and Shopify's robust e-commerce functionality. This tutorial is particularly valuable for Webflow designers looking to expand their service offerings and developers seeking to streamline their workflow and Shopify store owners who want more control over their store's design without sacrificing functionality. Let's begin by visiting Liquify Pro's template page. You'll find a starter theme that provides the foundation for your Shopify store. To get started, simply clone their starter theme in Webflow. Once you've done that, give your project a meaningful name, something that reflects the brand or purpose of the store. Take some time to explore the starter theme. Familiarize yourself with its structure, components, and how everything fits together. This will be invaluable as we move forward. Next, we need to install the Liquify Pro app from the Webflow Marketplace. You can click on over here and search Liquify Pro and install it. This is the most efficient way to do it as it will authorize your site automatically. Now to export your site, you want to go to the main menu here and click export code or the shortcut shift E and click prepare zip. If you're having trouble with this, then you can click on assets and you can also download your zip from here. Save the file. I'm gonna move that into my sites folder just to keep everything organized. For version control and seamless integration with Shopify, we'll set up a GitHub repository. This is a place where your code can live online and others can contribute and edit in a safe and controlled way. And most importantly, where Liquify Pro synchronizes updates into Shopify. Head on over to GitHub and create a new repository. Give it a clear descriptive name. I recommend matching your project name in Webflow. This can be a private repo and please check the readme checkbox when setting up. Next, you'll need to authorize Liquify Pro to access your GitHub account. If you go into Liquify Pro, you might need to create a new folder here and click add project, my amazing store. And click settings and connect our GitHub account. You can choose to grant access to all repositories or select specific ones. For most users, selecting just the repository you created for this project is sufficient, but if you want to add more later on, you'll need to update this setting. Back in the Liquify Pro app, select your newly created repository and the main branch. This tells Liquify Pro where to push your converted theme files. Now for the exciting part. Convert your Webflow design into a Shopify theme. Upload the exported zip file to the Liquify Pro converter. This conversion process typically takes between 30 seconds and a minute, depending on the complexity of your design. Once complete, you'll need to review and merge the files in GitHub. Liquify Pro creates a pull request with all the converted files. Because everything's new here, you're seeing everything, but if there are changes, then you'll just see those changes. After reviewing, merge the pull request and delete the branch if it's no longer needed. Your Shopify theme files are now safely stored in your GitHub repository. Log into your Shopify admin panel and navigate to the online store section, then themes. Click add theme and select connect to GitHub. This option allows you to directly pull your theme file from the GitHub repository. Select the repository and the branch containing your converted theme files. Shopify will pull these files and compile them into a functional theme. Once the process completes, you'll see your new theme listed and add it to your Shopify store by clicking add theme. Your theme is now installed, but customization doesn't end here. Use Shopify's built-in theme editor to further refine your design. You can change all the content inside the Shopify editor without worrying about overwriting it on the next conversion thanks to GitHub. Additionally, manage your CMS data and page content directly from Shopify's admin panel. This includes products, collections, blog posts, and pages. 
To summarize what we've learned today, we've set up a Liquify Pro theme in Webflow, configured it in GitHub, converted our Webflow design to a Shopify theme and installed it correctly in our Shopify store. We've also explored how to further customize our theme directly in Shopify. Well done, I know that was a lot. Remember our Discord community is there to support you throughout your journey with Liquify Pro. Join us to connect with other users, share your experiences and get help when needed. In our next session, we'll dive deeper into the template structure and explore how Liquify Pro organizes your theme files and how you can leverage this structure for more advanced customizations. See you there.